for the aquaponic systems I've already said before but I'm just gonna review it again things that I feed the fish liquid karma soluble seaweed extract these are kelp products it is derived from seaweed extract kelp and I have a worm farm they get all the worms that they need the worm farm is all of our leftover uh, vegetables and stuff along with eggshells bananas so they get the calcium the potassium uh, green peppers carrots lettuce uh, just everything everything that we don't use and that's including leaves from the garden anything that's just totally bug bitten any leaves that get contaminated by aphids uh, of course I swish them in the water so the aphids just go straight to the fish uh, uh, they go to the worms and then the nutrients come straight back to us the other things that I feed them has been goldfish flakes I crush them up real small for the flathead minnows fathead minnows uh, because they're in such competition with the goldfish you throw anything in there and the goldfish just gobble it up right away so I make them real minuscule pieces and then the uh, fathead minnows get a chance to eat it the other things that I give them is a uh, krill frozen krill high in omega-3 fatty acids don't don't believe what they say about what's good for you and what's not <laughs> uh, listen to the nutrition fanatics yeah they're flakes but you know what those are the people you gotta look to in these situations and you know what everyone that I've been checking out as far as the health food fanatics they're healthy and they've been doing it all of their life pretty much it's just us few who have just gone into this saying hey this is the new way we're gonna do things and you know what it's been great uh, all the other aquaponic people that I've heard of they use pellets and stuff for their fish food but like I've said I use earthworms krill leaves of lettuce I also put right in the water because uh, the fathead minnows and the goldfish they like vegetation uh, the seaweed that's growing in my tank I had bought from a store I can't remember the exact name for it but it is a like one of the best algaes out there uh, it, at one point in time in human history it was called manna I can't remember the name and I don't have the bottle here maybe I'll use that in the next video and I'll show you what I use but uh, it all comes down to is, is, is that that you get in what you put you know you get out of it what you put in and if you give your fish good stuff they'll give you good stuff back I haven't had any problems with putting worms in here or the krill or regular goldfish food uh, they love it and the plants love it there is a filtering system which is a jar you can also see in the other videos it's a pickle jar and uh, it's filled with scratch pads and scrubby pads and it filters the water so there's no chunks coming up into the water and with all of the uh, natural bacteria that's growing in the water it just breaks all that stuff down uh, I do overfeed my fish and I've had zero problems uh, the water's clean the tanks good the fish are happy the plants are happy no problems yet I've also washed my hands in the water whenever I get them dirty. People have said, oh yeah, you're going to get germs or something in there, this or that. It's, it's got its own filtration system with what's going on here. This is Mother Nature at work. And uh, it takes care of itself. I haven't had any problems yet. And I've seen all the other videos on YouTube and, and not many people were complaining about bunk operations. It's, it's all banging. This is what we need to do for our future. It's all good food. Good food gives you good health. Buy foods in high omega-3 fatty acids. They are antioxidants. Antioxidants are anti-cancer agents. The cilantro binds with heavy metal contaminants. It's a natural, it's as far as I know, the only plant that you can digest and it naturally takes out heavy metals from your body. Uh, uh, sunflower seeds, high in uh, oils, just the same thing. 
there's a, a the coconut oil, omega-3 fatty acids. People, we need to make a change in our diet because our diet is about to change on us. And it's not going to change for the good. We're going to see contamination hitting soon. We're already seeing videos where people are having high radiation levels in food and water. And you also need to get reverse osmosis watering uh, filtration. Uh, I, I went to the, the uh, radiation network and in their blog posting they say that if you want to test for radiation in the water you go to your filters and guess what you can test it in your filters because it's actually filtering it out of your water I listen to what the professionals say and the health food fanatics and hopefully I have faith but hopefully everything will be better than the average person this is what we're looking for is real healthy food to eat healthy food will give you a higher immunity that's another problem with radiation sicknesses is that as soon as you start getting contaminants in your body if you're not eating a healthy diet you will get sick you know this is just a proven fact that if you don't have a good diet you will get sick so people stand up make a change in your life and start doing anything that you can for you and your kids and your family and for anybody else don't let anybody say that you're some kind of wacko crazy person they've said that to me and you know what I don't care I'm gonna do what I do this is all about survival and being prepared ahead of time is an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure that's what we're looking for is a problem is the solution to the problem we're looking for solutions and we're going to do everything that we can look up cilantro and uh, how it works in your body look up uh, uh, ingestion of uh, uh, omega-3 fatty acids a lot of the things that are uh, excluded from our diet I think has been by design uh, hemp oil butter has, has been in human diets for how many thousands of years and now it is totally illegal to us and you know that the hemp Hemp seeds, not not the weed, but the seeds, are one of the most nutritious things that you can ever fucking digest. If you ever want to raise some birds and you want them to have eggs and offspring, you know what the, the plant stores will tell you? Buy roasted, which is legal, cannabis seeds. Your birds don't want, it's, it's the n number one thing that you would want to feed your birds for them to start reproducing. Now that sounds like a good thing to me. I don't know about you, but sorry about cussing.